All right, what's going on, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of Hexit Plus Survival for Minecraft on the PC. So, as I kept sort of hinting at last episode, I needed to do a bit of research in uh, the Better Dungeons mod to figure out exactly what sort of structure we've encountered here. Let me go ahead and zoom in. Uh, this red indicator, of course, is where we are right now. It turns out we are actually in Castle W.E. And I don't know what the W.E. stands for. It probably stands for whatever you want. Ha. Anyway, there's some interesting um, pieces of information on the wiki, the Hexit wiki about Castle W.E. Uh, first of all, if you've seen the previous episode... Man, that's a lot of spiders. It sounds like they're dying. Interesting. Uh, if you've seen the previous episode, you know that we fought and defeated the turtle boss. And it was, you know, not a terribly difficult fight, but not a cakewalk. Or maybe it was a cakewalk. So it turns out that there's actually a chance for the turtle boss to be infernal, just like, you know, the infernal typical vanilla mobs that we've been dealing with. And there's even a chance that if the turtle boss is infernal, his the, the turtle boss's health points may, instead of being at 500, they may be over 10,000. Um, and given the fact that as soon as the turtle is less than 50 health, it begins regenerating one health point every tick of the clock, which in Minecraft is pretty fast. He regenerates all the way until he's full health again, which is why we had, you know, fought him and then he regenerated fully. So... Apparently, Castle W.E. is one of the rarer, um, better dungeon structures. Now, I did alter the config files for pretty much all of the better dungeon structures. Specifically, I increased the spawn rates and sort of balanced the spawn rates of most of the structures. You know, more, I, I distributed them more evenly across the terrain because early on, uh, early in the series, we were just running into nothing literally nothing but underwater cities which are cool but there's a lot more to the better dungeons mod that we want to explore so I figured I would just make that happen you know to keep the series interesting so that's what I did so I don't know um, I do believe this is the only castle WE that I have found even through my like 48 kilometer trek around the world um, so yeah that's pretty cool. Um, a couple other interesting things. Um, <clears throat> Castle WE is referred to in the Hexit Wiki as more of an end game structure, as in it takes sort of beefier weapons and armor. Um, obviously, since we have Aura Spawn installed and we have, um, you know, Legia Bow from More Bows, which is part of Hexit, but also we have this Ruby Sword here, we sort of already have beefier gear, and it uh, hasn't really been a problem for us to take out whatever sort of gets in our way. Oh man, cake and melon and pumpkins. Nice. And so, that's fine. However, there is one more boss. There is a wither boss, most likely at the top of the structure here, um, which is a long way away, that could pretty much beat us up and own us pretty, pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna I'm not going to sugarcoat it, even though we're we're pretty strong. We we could get pretty much wrecked from uh, from the Walker boss, but we'll know when we get there, and that certainly is where we're going. Um, another interesting bit of uh, knowledge that I picked up is that Castle W E, being one of the rarer better dungeon structures, frequent well I don't know about frequently, is likely to contain really really good loot and by that I really mean um, like whole pieces of hex armor um, you know either the scale or the tribal or the uh, thief's armor and we've already been fortunate fortunate enough to find uh, thief's boots I, I can't remember exactly where we picked that up I think it might have been one of the like a big pirate ship or maybe one of the uh, battle towers but so, we're supposed to keep an eye out for a redstone lamp, and then if we find it, we're supposed to look for ladders above it that will lead to a secret area, and supposedly that area will have 
the best loot of the entire castle. So, I guess we'll do our, you know, we'll do our best. Um, this is an enormous castle. This is by far, as far as I know, this is by far the biggest, better dungeon structure that spawns. So, we certainly have our work cut out for us, not only in, you know, defeating everything we find, but for me, just not getting lost. I think one of the good strategies may be for me to just follow all of the um, uh, the spawners that are you know pre-generated in the world, because that means that I haven't gone this way yet, so that's just fine. Oh, this is actually a legit spawner, not a limited spawner. That's interesting. All right. Well, it's done. Ooh, spiders. Okay, so this explains why we were hearing like a hundred spiders earlier. So that's fine. I think this guy wants to have a duel. What do you think? Ow! <laughs> I think I might lose. Uh, no, really? Yeah, okay. I won. To be fair, though, I'm using a Legia bow that's enchanted, and he's not. So. Uh, iron sword, no problem. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Ouch! I like your shield. Too bad it doesn't really help you that much. Yeah. Alright, so let's go explore. Um, beds and crafting table. Not hard to come by. Beds and lighting glitch. <laughs> Furnace empty. Uh, oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, good. Torches. That actually was half sarcasm, half not sarcasm, because torches are nifty. Okay. Um, well, I, I will grab the clocks and we'll grab the gunpowder and the leather. We <laughs> we certainly do not have a shortage of, um, okay, so we need to make note to go this way. Oh, look, oh, look at all those redstone lamps. So when the wiki said redstone lamp, I guess it meant the enormous redstone lamp in the center of the, uh, like, atrium there, or whatever it's called. All right, hang on, hang on, free stuff, free stuff, free stuff, wrong buttons, there we go. All right, so we'll continue around the perimeter, just raiding everything we see. Uh, oh, thief's chest piece. That is a major, major win. That is huge. That is huge. Now we have half of the full set of the thief's armor, which is going to be so much fun. Now we are still hoping for, uh, for a cloth chest plate, uh, diamond plated scale. That sounds really cool, cactus. It's really me just being a completionist. I don't know how useful some of these, um, you know, weaker sounding bits of armor are going to be. But uh, I do want to have a fully decked out armory uh, back at the home base. So I'm just going to go for it. Okay. So that was a major win. Wow, we've already found a piece of thief's armor. That's awesome. That is really good. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. And it looks like there's some, oh, pink and uh, cyan and this purple, I guess. Okay, so uh, when we finally make it to the Twilight Forest dimension, which is on the list, don't worry, we're going to find the Quest Ram. And the Quest Ram, I believe we trade different colors of wool for, yeah, I don't know. But <laughs> I don't actually know what we, char what we trade him for. Uh, but I know that I want to because I don't know what it does yet, which makes me curious. And, well, I don't like not knowing the answer to things. So I've made an effort slowly over the series to start collecting um, the various colors of wool. I'm assuming we can take our inventory with us to the Twilight Forest. I'm pretty sure we can. Um, I was reading about some of the more recent versions of Ore Spawn, and I think the if you right click on an unsta uh, a termite, I think it's a termite. It takes you to like the crystal dimension, um, and you are absolutely not allowed to bring a single. Th oh, it's an it's an archer. I was like, what's invisible and hurting me? And uh, you are absolutely not allowed to bring a single thing from um, in your inventory to the. Uh, Crystal, into the crystal dimension. I guess we'll take another enchantment table. Why not? So, we're not going to have that problem because we have an earlier version of Ore Spawn. So, no worries there. Um, 
but I found that pretty interesting. So, but I think in the Twilight Forest we'll be able to bring everything that we want without too much worry. All right, so let me continue to raid everything. Oh man, and click wrong buttons. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put back some things that I'm seriously never gonna. Okay, well, pretty much just that, I guess. So we have these colors, the prime, well, the more common colors, green, yellow, red. Um, but this cyan here, I would like to have some of this. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, what do you have here? Presents? No, nothing. Anything in there? <laughs> uh, no, there is not. I don't think we have orange, and there's definitely orange wool over there. Just want to make sure that this tree isn't hiding anything. Look at all the different leaf to Oh, look at this. Glad we checked. Oh, really? This... Come on. This... Oh, that's... Maybe there's another one. I feel like we should have been more heavily rewarded for choosing to investigate that particular chest that was completely encased in leaves. I guess, you know, maybe it should have been obvious because, I mean, right here there are three different leaf textures, so... It, 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 I guess it looks more like somebody was deliberately hiding something. Okay, this is just an infinite water source. So why don't we go ahead and grab orange wool. Nice. Um, we already have... Oh, this is light blue, not cyan. So let's get some of this. I don't know why I'm getting two pieces. I just, for the sake of redundancy, in case for some reason I lose one, you know, I don't really see how that would happen. But just, just bear with me. It's just it's just the way it works with me. So, okay, red, yellow, light blue, green. We don't have... Oh, this is actually not green. This is lime. I don't know... I can't remember if it's... Well, we'll get some anyway. It's better to have too much than too little for some things. All right, so I think that'll do it for raiding this central area here. That one redstone lamp is not on curious okay so let's make our way back up and around and keep in mind for you know that we're looking out for a secret area and then at some point we may get challenged by a pretty hefty boss guy so let's see okay and we can see daylight and what seems to be the roof of the structure um, this sort of reddish area is brick so let's keep going. Pretty sure we already checked this. We did. All right. And we've actually already been here as well. All right, so let's go. Let's actually eat. I hear more walkers. So at this point, I imagine... Okay, so that's, a, that's someone in gold. I imagine we're going to start encountering diamond walkers. Um, oh, he's infernal, though. Okay. He's infernal and faceless. Rare, unseen cloaking thing of death. He's dead. Okay, fine. I didn't actually get to read all of his attributes uh, before I took him out, so that's alright. Gold sword, iron bow. Iron bow is pretty cool. Um, I don't think I'm going to take it with us. If I'm not mistaken, two iron bows and a piece of string and a couple other pieces of iron will make a new Legia bow, but ours is still in good shape, and I think we even have another one. Um, at least one more back at home base. Oh, yes! Gold, iron, manulin. Yes, that is a tinkerer's construct ore that I am very excited to have. Um, more the diamond plated scale armor. Very nice. Getting full up here, so let me go ahead and put some of these things away. I know that some of the items here will overlap with the backpack we've already been filling up, but it's fine. I mean, taking advantage of the extra inventory slots here. You know, I have four empty large backpacks here. Um, this is, it says plants and animals. It's actually sort of what I'm calling the critical items. Like if I'm somehow gets, it's a long story, but we have plenty of space. So I don't need to be worry about, worried about running out of space and, uh, if that ever does happen, then, you know, I'll just run back home and sort everything out, and we'll be good to go again. So, okay, so that is the end of the redstone lamp. 
So I don't know how much farther we want to go before making our way over there and checking out. Okay, I see the ladders. So that's cool. And there's a walkway here. Hmm, I don't know if we're supposed to go to this walkway. Kind of, well, I don't, I just don't know. I've never, I've never taken out a castle WE before. So, I just don't know. But I will take your emeralds and gold and everything else, except for that helmet, which I don't want. Hey, nope, no, don't pour the water out. Hey, let's go. All right. You're all dead. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Zombie. You don't stand a chance. You don't even have armor or a weapon. Oh, all right. Well, you might have strength in numbers if I'm not quick. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, so I did see a diamond guy, a diamond walker over there. So I was right on that front. All right, so those are more stairs. I heard a zombie drop down. Hey, what's up? Hey. Oh, you only take five, six. Yeah, you don't take a lot of damage, but you take a lot more than I do. So I'm I'm just okay with that. That's for sure. No. Um. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Boy, this this ruby sword still has four thousand uses left. Nice. Nice. All right. So, where was that walkway again? I feel like we're going to come around to it at some point. And if not, then I'm just going to manually make a bridge to get over there. I think that's it right there. So, okay, we already have diamond plated scale boots. Reinforced bow is cool, but our diamond bow, or our legia bow is, is better. So, we'll just stick with that. Ow. Great. You're gone. Thank you. All right, so there's a diamond enemy in there, but there's a chest here. All right, so let's get this chest and then go back. And then another reinforced bow, iron, iron, gold, um, for cloth pants, which we already have. Okay, so let's do this here. Oh, does this not lead to the... Hmm... Okay, well, I'm not yet convinced that this... That's a creeper. That's a creeper. Come on. Come on. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, don't do that, you rude. Stop. Here, just go. Yeah, see you later. Thanks. Oh, hey, skeleton. No. Oh, am I out of torches? Oh, boy. Not good. Um, hang on. Gotta go. No, no, no. I need that in my inventory. Where to go? Where to go? Give me the thing and this. Yes. Whoever's shooting at me is terrible because I keep hearing like arrows go by and not a single one has actually hit me. So maybe they're fighting each other. I don't. I don't actually know. All right. Getting full again. Potion of strength. Cool. I actually should have considered. Potion of night vision and potion of strength. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and drink these. Why not? Stupid bow. I don't want that. All right. Let's go ahead and do the uh, night vision. Oh, yeah. And the strength. Nice. All right. So let's get rid of this. Put these back and continue on our merry way and figure out who is shooting so awfully at us. It must have been you. Now you're gone. And I have purple and green particle effects coming out at me. All right. I'm okay with that. No big deal. I just put a torch down out of habit, but we have night vision right now, so we can all see just just fine. Okay, so this heading this way is going to put us above the redstone. Oh, that's good loot. Yeah, that's good loot right there. I don't know if we can see it from here, but yeah, I think we're like pretty much right above the redstone lamp. I don't... Yeah, so there it is. All right, so... Oh, here. This is where the ladders come out. Oh, okay. So just for posterity, let's go down and make sure that... Oh. Oh, look at this. This is neat. This is very neat. I wonder what... Okay, so we saw this one earlier. The one that wasn't lit up, but I don't... 
Hmm. I don't actually, th unless I'm being blind, I don't think there's going to be any loot in this area in particular. It seems as if we found another way. Oh. Ooh, hook shoot and a quiver. I think we have a quiver already, but we'll grab one. Why not? There's another one. No, is that the one we've already? Yeah. Yeah, we've already done that one. All right, so let's go back up. Um, I don't... I didn't hear anything change. I don't... I made a note. The uh, look for a redstone lamp with gear and ladders above. Well, I didn't make any note about a switch, and it doesn't seem to be affecting anything, so I'm just going to... I guess I'll leave it be. Gold and iron, and go away, and go away. And I actually don't want a redstone lamp. Um, everything else is fine. I saw that we picked up another heart there. So, uh, we are a little bit closer to making heart canisters, uh, which increase our total health. I think we can go all the way up to 20. Let me make sure that I've explored all of Yeah, I've definitely been here, because... There's holes in the floor right there. Did I get this one or not? I did not. Cobalt ingot, thank you. Aluminum, aluminum. Okay, everything that's not... Actually, I'm just going to... I'm going to grab it all. I'll sort it later. If there's anything I... Okay, that flashing is because our night vision is running out. Um. Okay, so how do I get out of here? Uh, it's this way. Nice. All right. So we're just about at the top. We've already done this chest. There's another diamond-clad foe over here. He wants to duel. He has a sword, though. All right, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. See you later. Thanks. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, it's getting dark. Did I hear zombies? Several zombies. I'm still not going to eat cooked Jacobo. It's just weird. All right. Um... All right, let's go ahead and, you know, look at all the colored ores we have. That is awesome. The cobalt and manulin, I think, are going to be especially useful for uh, when we get into the Tinker's Construct mod. Now, during the stream, I did find that the uh, vanilla Minecraft village that's nearest our home base has a smeltery. It has everything except for, I think, um, a smeltery. I, I don't think I'm using the terms correctly, but a smeltery... Uh, it doesn't have a controller, and it doesn't have a tank, um, you know, for storing lava that we need to power, um, that we need to, well, melt everything before we craft it into something else. Um, but it does have m pretty much all the other components, so that's going to save us a lot of time. Um, I don't yet know if we're going to leave it there, or if I want to mine it up and bring it back to the home base. I'm sort of leaning towards bringing it back um, with us and constructing, um, like adding another wing to the top level of the home base. So that, I think, is going to be the plan. Um, I did go through uh, independently off camera and test um, whether or not embers come out of the molten um, material in the smeltery and burn down wood. And I, so far, have found that that does not actually happen. Um, doesn't mean I can trust it 100%, but I think we will be okay um, if it comes to that. So I'm just going to keep that in mind. I'm going to throw these things away. Um, I'll put my helmet back on. All right, so let me eat, and then we should be pretty much at the uh, Walker boss. Now, I looked at several things on the wiki. I did not look at any strategy for the walker boss or what, how many, you know, I, I really don't know anything about it except that at some point we're going to face supposedly a pretty tough enemy. And uh, based on what I read about the potential for the turtle boss to be infernal, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that I really hope that... <laughs> I'm really hoping that our walker boss here is not infernal, because that's just going to make everything so much harder. Okay, this is a zombie. That's obviously not the walker boss. Where is he? I don't see anything. I should have thought twice before opening that chest. 
because of my experience with battle towers. What's going on? Why is he not here? Holy cow. Look at all the free stuff. Uh, I already... I don't know if I have them all yet, so I'm going to take that. Yeah, I'll take the... No, I'm not going to take the big backpack. I don't have a bag with me. It's just going to take up space. Where is the... Oh. Full diamond boots. Blast protection. Sure. Sure. What? Um, I'm not... I guess one of these chests is going to be on a trigger that's going to spawn, you know, um, the walker boss. I don't, I don't actually know. I'm assuming that we're going to encounter him at some point. We definitely have not yet, so it kind of has to happen. I think he's just going to jump out and scare me. Um, water staff, that's cool. I wonder if that's what the, kind of like what the turtle boss was using against us. More full diamond boots with good enchantments, thank you. And a lot more diamond and eyes of ender. Okay, well, um, what have I done wrong here? I don't, I don't see a walker boss or king or bad guy dude thing um what is that down there I don't think it's anything but <laughs> okay maybe it was a sheep and now it's a dead sheep was I wrong in thinking that it's at the top of the tower how uh why uh why would there be a boss battle in a structure like this that isn't on this, like, rampart here? Why? That doesn't seem very likely. Um, what have I... What have I done wrong here? What have I... What have I done wrong? Something is not right. I went into both of these. Yes? Um, yes. Was there... No, there's no alternative. Is it, uh, is he... No? No, I don't... We're definitely not on peaceful. So... Why? It's a bad idea, we'll do it anyway. Alright, Mr. Walker thing, man, dude, person, bro. Why... Why you no want to play? Where you go? Why you no want to play? don't understand. Okay, I'm going to have to wiki it, so uh, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so, yeah, turns out I didn't really know what I was talking about. Um, the turtle boss is the boss for this structure, and we have already defeated the turtle boss um, in the previous episode, no less. So this was really just uh, a chance to have fun and uh, explore this huge, dang it, stupid freezerite boots. I'm never gonna remember. Here, feather falling, how about that? Like I was saying, this is really just a chance to explore this enormous, enormous structure and uh, pick up a bunch of loot and a bunch of experience levels and just enjoy it, so yeah, that was pretty cool. All right, well, it's been uh, this is the third episode in a row that's going to be about 30 minutes long, so I guess that'll work. Um, and assuming I don't encounter anything else down here, I don't think I will. I think we are pretty much done. Let me just double check, because I haven't... Oh, we haven't been here. Okay, so this is the dining room. And, uh, steak. Love steak. And, I. Uh, guess that's gonna do it. If this water would ever dissipate, please and thank you. We went back there. That's the kitchen, I suppose. So we've been there. I don't know why we didn't... I just forgot to go to the dining room, I think. Alright, and I don't see anywhere else to go. So, let's just double check. And... Oh, this actually... Huh. Well, I, I guess there... I guess there could be something. Hang on. Hang on. Um, 
oops, I shouldn't be, nope. All right, we're back to regular old stone. Okay, so that's it. We've explored to full extent the Castle WE, and I was looking for a boss that didn't exist, but we took out the boss that does exist in the previous episode. So, thanks again for watching. Uh, I imagine after this, I'm probably going to... You know what we didn't find? We didn't find any hexagonal essences, not a single one. So, next episode, I guess we're going to have to go explore another better dungeon-type structure and hope that we find some in a chest, because I really want the scale armor. So, either that or we can just go run around in the field and hopefully pick up... We just need four. We just need four more. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I very much appreciate it. I will join you all next time. See you later.